Hey everybody, welcome back to the second part of my book film tutorial. Um, in this part, I'm going to be showing you how to put your pictures on your computer, um, how to do some um, like basic editing, um, what to um, use as far as software goes, um, what specs you need for your computer, stuff like that. Um, so this is uh, my camera here. Um, I'm going to pop out the SD card slot. Or pop out the SD from the SD card slot. Move the battery and go ahead and plug that in because that is uh, definitely need the battery. And I took some more pictures um, while I was waiting for my other stuff to load um, for the um, video that I took earlier to um, upload to the computer. Um, but now I have to upload all of those pictures. So that we can have a little bit more to work with um, for the book film. That's why it took some more. Um, so I can kind of show you a little bit more. I'm just going to plug it into the computer. Now you may have USB, you may have tons of different stuff. I mean, it all depends on your preferences. Um, these are pictures I imported from my iPad, so completely know that. Um, so as you say, this is an old book film I did. Um, by the way, I'm using a lot of stuff. So. Oh, that's how the thing is moving. No, um, you might have worried when you see my figure not on the trackpad. Um, but then you go to edit, organize, or share that your computer may be different. Um, depending on what version of Windows you're running and stuff like that. Um, but this is pretty much how you do it. Um, so we're going here. Um, we're going to import all new items now. I took 244 pictures total. Photos and videos. Let's so go import. It's going to import them really fast. You can kind of watch that scene and kind of get a preview almost. So it's not going to be as fast as that. Um, you can kind of get a preview of what it's like. So that's kind of cool. You can erase it after importing if you like. And I'm going to minimize this and kind of talk about um, hardware. So for your computer, um, what you want is something that's going to be able to handle the basic stuff. Um, so as I said, Mac is um, right, that's for sure. Um, but this tutorial is for a PC, not a Mac. Um, of course, if you have a Mac, um, you're going to be all set. <laughs> um, because Macs were, are very powerful. They work great for this kind of stuff. But of course, PCs are very powerful too. Um, it just depends on what kind you get. Uh, so what you want is something that is fast enough. And what I would say is you don't want to go anything less than Core i3. And I would say try to have at least two gigabytes of RAM. Nothing, um, nothing less than two gigabytes of RAM. This computer has Core i3 and four gigs of RAM, and it works great for all this stuff that I'm going to be showing you how to do. But anything lower than that is just going to be laggy, and it's going to prevent you from doing um, everything that you need. It's just, it's hard to be able to do um, anything productive, to really be productive with. Um, making the brick film if, if your computer is going to be lagging and stuff like that so um, make sure you have the right hardware of course screen size doesn't matter um, if you have an extra monitor i would recommend plugging it in because you can have a lot of extra workspace but you really don't need one this is a 1.6 screen and i'm perfectly fine on it uh, so i'm going to close this i'm going to go to file explorer we're going to find get our files in here i'm going to go to pictures and this here um whatever however it labels it um, just to find the pictures with the date. Oh, it's empty. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna um, drag these into a new file. Or into a new folder here. So I'm gonna go into here. Or actually, you know what? Um, just open this again. Um, stack the windows here. I'm going to go into my documents. This is why I keep it so that when I play slideshows, it doesn't play the pictures. I keep them in documents. I go pictures for videos. I play the stop motion. This um, is all my stuff. Um, if you um, may have a different way of doing it, I'm going to create a new folder entitled Phone Brick Film because that's the title of it. Well, maybe not exactly, but this is the code name I'm giving it. And then I'm going to drag and drop all of these from here into the file, into the folder I just created. That might take a minute. Um, there they all are. Okay. So I can close this out. 
here's all the pictures right here. This is where I need them. So the next thing we're gonna do is if we let's say we want to do some editing. Um, so I don't have any lightsabers or anything in here. Oh, I'm gonna have to um, use. Or you know what? Oh, actually, um, I'm gonna take some pictures and show you how to do some basic jumping and shooting and lightsaber stuff. So, um, let me grab the battery to my camera. Character here. Focus to the main area. Um, let me put the battery back in. Um, I'm gonna need the SD card as well. Right, Camera here. But may always make sure you eject. The SD card, that's a very important aspect of it. Be sure you reject every single time. Otherwise, it'll mess your SD card up. And if it's the same thing with USB, whatever you're using, be sure to use um, to, to use the eject feature. Let's pop it in there. Um, okay, I'll try it out. I'm not going to use a tripod here because I'm not trying to get like the most accurate photos are the best looking photos. I'm just trying to show you guys um, how to do this. So let's look. Um, so here I'm just gonna kind of uh, put this guy here. Um, I'm gonna put him, let's take a few pictures of a white signal. Not gonna be perfect but hey, maybe I'm just gonna take a few photos. He's gonna move. Normally you should use a brick but I'm just kind of showing you guys how to do this. Um, so as you can see, I just kind of move in the lightsaber. Of course, this is going to be perfect. I'm not trying to make this perfect stop motion. This is not going to be in the video. This is just kind of an example of what you guys want, to, um, sh how you guys are going to do this when you do the brick film. So there's a lightsaber. I'm going to take the lightsaber out. I'm going to put him here. See there? Okay, there you go. see what I'm doing. Um, take a picture there, and then I'm going to take a brick, any size, put him about where he was before. It's good. Try to make sure, this is very important, make sure the lighting is the same for every picture you take here. Make sure he's about in the same position, but you want to make sure you have the same lighting. Preferably, you want an average background, but add a lot of subjects in the background. If preferred, if at all, try to keep it minimal on um, the subjects you have. Um, that's a very helpful tip to use. Um, okay, so you only need two here. I'm mean, I'm gonna show you why you do this in a minute. Um, now, Bill, um, these bricks aren't actually gonna be in the brick film, but that's why. I, um, that's what I'm going to show you in the tutorial on why we use those and stuff like that. Okay, so, back to our computer. Um, let's, we can upload the photos once again. Um, and, do that easily. I'm gonna turn the camera. SD card back in there. Okay. You see here it um, popped up again to edit organizer share. Okay, import, I only took 10, so it's easy. Um, uploads really quickly. Um, just gonna do the same thing that I did. I'm gonna go to pictures. It has these here. Just gonna drag and drop all of them into my folder. 
that I had created earlier. Um, so, solution and phone brick phone. Okay, so that's done. Now, just up here. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and show you how to edit those photos. Uh, so now that you know what kind of hardware you're using and you know how to take the pictures, you need to know how to edit them. So this is kind of the in-between tutorial, kind of telling you what you need, um, how to put them on your computer, stuff like that, um, and how to make the special effects. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to put that together to make a special effect and to make those awesome things um, that you see in the professional brick films I'm going to show you how to do that yourself in the next video so be sure to stay tuned for part 3